Holy guacamole, do you see all that crazy stuff back there? Heavens to Betsy, do you know what they're all made out of? Adams. This apple right here? Adams. Minecraft Creeper hat? Adams. Picture of Morgan Freeman as Iron Man? Adams. Everything's made of Adams. John Dalton founded the Atomic Theory in 1804, and this has remained the basis of all the rest of the discoveries we've made about atoms since then. One. Matter is made up of atoms that are indivisible and indestructible. Two. All atoms of an element are identical. Three. Atoms of different elements have different weights and different chemical properties. Four. Atoms of different elements combine in simple whole numbers to form compounds. 5. Atoms cannot be created or destroyed. When a compound decomposes, the atoms are recovered unchanged. Fitter, happier, more productive. In 1897, scientist J.J. Thompson discovered the cathode rays are composed of negatively charged particles, which are now called electrons. This is a really bad, outdated, stinky model of an atom that he made. Protons weren't discovered yet, so he thought that everything besides the electrons in the atom were just empty, positive space. This was just the very start of modeling atoms, and it gets much more in-depth with... Rutherford did a lot for atomic theory, but by far the most impactful was the discovery of the proton. The discovery was made through the gold foil experiment, which consisted of shooting alpha particles at a thin sheet of gold foil. Many of the particles deflected from the sheet of foil, which showed how the mass of the atom was a concentrated point of positive charge. Bohr discovered how electrons were capable of jumping from one energy level to another, and that they actually orbit around the nucleus instead of being randomly dotted around the atom like the plum pudding model showed. Although the model was ultimately replaced by the quantum atomic model in the 1920s, the basics of the discovery in the model itself still remain valid. Chadwick discovered the neutron in 1932 in a similar experiment to Rutherford's gold foil, except this time he was using beryllium and paraffin to shoot the alpha particles at, which split the neutrons and protons from each other. The discovery of the neutron was one of the last big parts of the atom that we know of today, and it's definitely brought, you know, some, uh, some other stuff in there too. Uh, so I'm really tired and I used all my editing skills on other parts of the video, so, you know, in conclusion, atoms are pretty cool. And, you know, we're all made of atoms, right? So we're all cool. Self-love, all right? Ka-chow. Boom.